Mountain Dew? Yeah, code red. Mountain Dew leads the way in innovative branding. No longer is Mountain Dew just a drink, it's an entire way of being. With that in mind, here are 10 Mountain Dew facts that will energize you. Oh, I can feel it. I can feel the power. Willie the Hillbilly. You can never have enough moonshine. Damn it. Trust me on this, I know what I'm talking about. Yahoo Mountain Dew. It will tickle your innards with a bang in every bottle. That was Mountain Dew's first slogan, and the first commercial that had the character named Willie the Hillbilly singing the praises of the soft drink. Mountain Dew's original formula was invented in 1940 as a mixer for whiskey by Tennessee beverage bottlers Barney and Allie Hartman. As a tongue-in-cheek joke, they named it Mountain Dew, which was slang for moonshine in the South. I love inside jokes. Love to be a part of one someday. So they found it fitting that their logo and main character should be a hillbilly. Early bottles, labels, and signage for advertising and commercials had the cartoon stylized hillbilly as its mascot. In the 70s, once purchased by PepsiCo, they dropped Willie the Hillbilly and they switched their marketing campaign to get that barefoot feeling. This new campaign was geared more toward urban teenagers. Over the decades, Mountain Dew's product packaging has changed changed multiple times, so has the logo, but we'll never forget Willie, the original mascot. I just really miss him. Yeah, I miss him too. Mountain Dew Amped. Dude, so amped right now, God! If Mountain Dew Amp energy drinks won't keep you energized, then nothing will. Amp Energy started out in 2001 as an offshoot and variant to Mountain Dew products. It was distributed under the Mountain Dew brand until 2008 as Mountain Dew Amp. I love these energy drinks, man. I'm almost like kind of on an energy drink cleanse. Amp is manufactured by Rockstar, which is also owned by PepsiCo, Mountain Dew's parent company. However, the label was eventually changed with the Mountain Dew logo moving to the bottom of the can. By 2011, the logo was completely removed from the can to obliterate its existence. However, this has since come round full circle as they've added the Mountain Dew logo back onto the cans. The original Amp Energy drinks contained taurine, B vitamins, guarana, ginseng, maltodextrin, and 74 milligrams of caffeine. That's enough to energize us all day. It just goes to show how innovative Mountain Dew are, as some of their offshoots actually get to shine on their own like rock stars. Go out there and be a star. Branding genius. Guerrilla marketing, I love it. In order for customers to feel more involved with their beloved Mountain Dew, the company came up with two big marketing campaigns, Dewmocracy 1 and Dewmocracy 2. These two campaigns ran from 2007 to 2009, where Mountain Dew fans were given the chance to have quite a big input on the company's choices on product flavors and even advertising. The first Dewmocracy kickstarted with a website that had a short promotional film explaining the campaign as well as a role-playing game. This is a role game. It takes place entirely in our collective imagination. Each game had the chance for people to choose flavors, logos, and designs for the new drink. In the end, the public chose cool names like Revolution, Voltage, and Supernova. Democracy 2 amped up the stakes as it started with a U.S. tour. 17 cities were given the chance to taste the potential new flavors, then Mountain Dew encouraged us to join a community to vote for the next flavor. The public chose cool names like Whiteout, Distort and Typhoon. Hmm, I like this one. Use of Tartrazine. What is that? One of the ingredients in Mountain Dew is a dye called Yellow Number no. 5, better known as tartrazine. Tartrazine is an organic sodium salt, which derives from tartrazine acid. It's a synthetic lemon yellow dye used as a food coloring and what gives Mountain Dew its fluorescent color. It is also found in almost all processed foods. This dye is everywhere, like Doritos, cereals, shampoos, cosmetics, and even popcorn. They say that tartrazine lowers sperm count. Wait, what? However, before we all start getting too upset and vow to never drink Mountain Dew again, this is just an urban legend, as tartrazine has never actually been scientifically linked or proven to reduce sperm count. Woo! Thank goodness for that, huh? That's a relief! Although, some studies suggest that it can possibly be carcinogenic, like many things, and some studies suggest that among children with ADHD, tartrazine can increase symptoms. Game fuel for gamers. See that kid? He's a gamer. 
Great job, Chris. Now go hit the showers. In 2007, Mountain Dew started using the term game fuel to market their sodas to the video gaming subculture. Shortly afterwards, it became the drink of choice for gamers, skaters, and just about any kids who wanted to get that extra energy kick. The drinks soon became the go-to drink and an extension of that culture. Mountain Dew Game Fuel had cool labels that sported images and promotional artwork for the games they were promoting at the time. Every two or three years, Mountain Dew hooks up with the next new game release to create another new flavored drink and promotional material. It starts a frenzy and a run to the stores so fans can sample their new wild flavors. At the end of 2018, Mountain Dew unveiled a new game fuel drink that is more of an energy drink specifically formulated for video gamers. Want to get rich playing video games? Click right here to find out how. It is different than the original game fuel, which was simply soda and caffeine. Everyone knows that Mountain Dew Amp Game Fuel is specifically designed to give gamers that special high, endurance, and boost they need during game playing. The combination of ingredients has shown to increase accuracy and alertness. I want 100% commitment and laser focus, right? Loaded with ginseng. The tang kui and the ginseng will give you more energy. Ginseng is in many Mountain Dew drinks, especially the energy ones like Amp and Voltage. So if you are feeling a little under the weather and need that extra zing of energy, Mountain Dew is for you. I need it. Now! These days, most energy drinks contain small trace amounts of ginseng that are not really harmful, except in extremely large doses. For those who do not know, ginseng is a root that has been used in traditional Chinese medicine for centuries. Research shows that ginseng really does not have any magical healing properties when it comes to illness, but it does seem to have an effect on memory, fatigue, and insulin response. As long as it isn't overused, ginseng is a welcome bit of pep and zing to add to our Mountain Dew. Woo! Oh my! Suddenly I'm full of energy! The inevitable caffeine. You're a talking Pikachu with no memories who's addicted to caffeine. I could stop whenever I want. We know, this one is obvious. But given all of our obsessions with caffeine, we thought we should give it a mention. In a recent report, it is estimated that 450 billion cups of coffee or tea are consumed yearly worldwide. That's an incredible amount of caffeine. And that doesn't even account for carbonated caffeine beverages or food either. In the US alone, 450 million cups of coffee are consumed daily. That's a lot. Which could make for a lot of hyper people or walking zombies. Caffeine is a stimulant that affects the central nervous system, and it is by far the world's largest legal psychoactive drug. A can of green Mountain Dew elixir contains 55 milligrams of caffeine in a 12 fluid ounce drink, which is not too bad, especially compared to other drinks of a similar nature, such as Red Bull at 80 milligrams per drink. The caffeine and sugar content will have you energized for an hour or so till you can get your next fix. It'll wear off eventually, I think. The green label equals art. Dude, what the hell kind of art is this? Looks like a lizard puking up Skittles. Fans of the art world can regale in this, as it is right up their alley in terms of creativity and coolness. Mountain Dew's Green Label Promotions was a project that put artwork featured by different local tattoo artists on a series of limited edition aluminum bottles. The initial bottles were the first to coin the phrase Green Label Art to describe the use of artistic works on Mountain Dew packaging. Wow, Joey, this is, uh... Art. Art it is. In true Mountain Dew fashion, back in 2010, a contest began by the same title in conjunction with 35 independent skateboard store owners who partnered with local artists to design and submit future artwork designs. The following year, they also sponsored a music label under Green Label Sound, promoting the music industry with new hip-hop artists. Action Sports has also always been a part of Mountain Dew marketing since the 90s. It has also sponsored its own festival like the Dew Tour, which was made up of five U.S. city tours over the course of a year, highlighting sports such as skateboarding, BMX, snowboarding, and skiing. In coordination with its Dew Tour sponsorship, a television show under the banner of the Mountain Dew's Green Label Experience premiered on Fuel TV, just for broadcasting interviews with action sports athletes from each of the stops on the Dew Tour. Can't get any cooler than this. Yeah, it was as cool as it sounds. 
the quest will get you going. I'm going on an adventure! Over the years, Mountain Dew has been in a constant state of transformation, innovation, and change. They have partnered with other brands looking for the next best thing to increase sales. Sports remain one of their biggest strengths, catering to that specific market with ads like the Puppy Monkey Baby at Super Bowl 50. Some other exciting and mysterious campaigns were when they teamed up with Doritos and created the Doritos Quest. Is this quest optional? Silence, Dervish! A mystery flavor known as Quest, which turned out to be Mountain Dew. In 2012, they teamed up with Warner Brothers for the release of The Dark Knight Rises, where fans were able to access content and details of the film on a website before its release date. They also featured packaging to promote the movie and a new dark berry flavor. Mountain Dew even did a special for season 8 of Game of Thrones. When you play the Game of Thrones, you win or you die. In which they created a new can that is completely blank, dubbed the can with no name. But when chilled, the names on Arya Stark's hit list appear. Another prime example of how their marketing department works to reinforce its brand. Mountain Dew Sweet Lightning Never-ending and determined, Mountain Dew are relentless with their thirst for flavor combinations and their need to bring us the perfect drink. Earlier this year, it was leaked that Mountain Dew had partnered with KFC for a brand new flavor. As of July 1st, their new flavored soda called Sweet Lightning was available exclusively at KFC restaurants nationwide. The drink flavoring contains a punch of peach and a touch of honey flavors. Dude, sounds amazing. Yeah. It will no doubt brighten up each and every one of its customers' taste buds and have them coming back. A new pitchman will be introduced by the name of Sweet, a southern and yellow suit-wearing gentleman who is smooth and lightning fast. Let's hope it becomes a mainstay. Please, 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 please! Have another sip and tap that screen for our next great video. Checking us out for the first time? Then take a second to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to join our notification squad.